What's up, what's up, y'all? Today, we're gonna talk about some tube lights. So today I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite tools that I've got in my, my arsenal. Uh, these are the Luxco, I don't know, how Lux CEO. It's, it's, it's a weird name. They are tube lights, they're RGB. They're pretty badass. I love these things. Real quick, before we get into the video, I do want to say like, I'm not going to go into like overly techie specs. This isn't really a how to use these lights. It's more so my, my personal view on what these things are. And first things first, with tube lights, typically they are a lot more expensive than, you know, your every other light, it seems like. I think Aperture has a set like these that are like $400 a light. But cool thing about these guys is they're like 160 bucks right now on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below, but these things are incredible. They're so cheap for what they do and how much I use them. It's funny, for the price of one, one of the aperture lights, I bought two of these and I cannot say enough good things about them. They're rugged as all hell. I think I've dropped these things. I mean, if you guys can see, I don't know if you can really see on the back of these, but they're scratched to hell. I've used these things for, I think about two years now. Apparently they are waterproof, but I've never tested that. I just, you know, I, I don't want to ruin them. Kind of like your iPhone. They say it's waterproof, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to throw it in the lake and hope for the best. As far as battery life with these guys, I think one charge I've gone, I think I've done like two shoots <laughs> on one charge before. Uh, I forgot to charge them in between and it wasn't that big a deal. I run them pretty high. You know, they, they do get pretty bright real quick. So that's the dark. And yeah, they, they light the hell up. I actually, so the green setting, I, I did a video for my son, just seeing if I could do the visual effects for a lightsaber in general. I actually use this green to do like the close up shot. So you can kind of see the lightsaber and then you see the green that's casting on it. It's like, well, then you just take, take one of these and put it out of camera and, and pay out. Now you're getting illuminated, you know, like it, it, I mean, they look like lightsabers to begin with. I could have just had them holding this, but you know, I, I wanted him, you know, I wanted the hilt. I wanted the cool stuff like that. Quick overview, um, they they do have an app. I've heard it is very janky. I've never personally used it. I, I you'll, If you ever see me on set, you'll just hear me clicking like crazy. Um, one click turns them on, two clicks will change the colors. You know, they, they do have a full, you know, range. So they have some basic effects. I definitely say that that's where they kind of come up short. There's no like flame flickering modes and things like that in them. As far as RGB tubes, you know, you couple these things with a little bit of fog and you can do so much with so little. If you ever wanted to get tube lights and you don't want to drop four grand on a, on a big professional Quasar set or whatever, like I said, I cannot sing their praises enough. I've used them to light up green screens, things like that. I've been getting a lot more into with Unreal Engine and things like that. So it's a lot more, you know, integrating shots that I get on green screen and putting them in that world. Well, in order to light the the screen, sometimes we don't have a whole lot of space. Sometimes, I mean, they just, they're big. They're soft, they're big. They actually, they have the cover on the back right here. So you don't get a whole lot of spill, you know, on your subject, whereas this can light your background really well. Overall, I think I've used these on just about every music video shoot I've ever done. Even if I didn't need RGB, I just use it for the light itself. It does have warm and cooler tones. You can't customize the white balance on them. So kind of what you get is what you get and hope for the best. But again, $150 or 160 bucks for these things, you just cannot beat it. I, I always like checking out new lights. Like my thing is with gear, I'm like, I gravitate towards lighting because I'm just like, Ooh, what are the cool things I can do with that? And you know, what kind of scenes can I create? But overall, I just, I cannot say enough good things about them. You know, I, I, when I bought them, I didn't really think that I was going to be getting much. I was like, you know what? I'll buy these. They'll probably last for, I don't know, maybe a month or two. And then hopefully I'll get a job that can pay for better ones. And then I got them on set and I, they, they absolutely killed it. I think we did an entire video where, these are the only two lights that we used for it. <laughs> it was real moody. It was very foggy. It was, it was, it was cool. I loved it. I loved shooting it and it was a lot of fun, but it would not have been doable without these. And I think I, I had a fog machine. It was like, it was very run and gun, gun situation. You know, I've been thinking about it lately, you know, looking into new lights and Lux CEO. <laughs> uh, if you guys, if you guys are watching this, do you guys have any other lights, stuff like that? I'd love to check them out and see how well they do. Cause y'all, Y'all impressed. 
for real. Uh, I love these things. But yeah, that's kind of my my whole thing on these. They're they're four foot tube lights. They're 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 big. You know, you can kind of see. <laughs> if you guys haven't already, please be sure like subscribe. Link for these will be in the description below. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this. I love checking out new gear. Um, I I would love for companies to send me gear to check out. But until then, I've got plenty of stuff that I've built up over the years that I'm just like, yo, I'm happy to talk about all of the the stuff, give my opinion on it. And if you are a videographer out there that's looking to get a set of tube lights, like I was when I started down the rabbit hole of YouTube product reviews, these are absolutely a good option. You know, I'm, I'm posting a link down below. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that yet. I'm trying to get all that set up. I don't make anything off this. I'm just saying these lights are good and they're worth the money. They do take a, a long time to charge, but they're good lights. Use them.